Hey everybody, Brom Rumi here with another exciting do-it-yourself tutorial brought to you by your friends at MyCrazyMachine.com Okay, today we are going to be looking at an overview of malicious threats in your system such as a virus, Trojan, spyware, and malware. I'm going to show you how you can get free antivirus software, install it, easily eliminate the threats from your system, and get your computer back to running like the day you first bought it, which in my case was about five years ago, but hey, if it ain't broken, why upgrade it? Okay, you can easily follow my steps and remove security threats from your system, all without professional service fees or the expensive costs for software. Hey, we're in a recession here. If it's free, all the better. Now, the first thing we're going to do is to log into mycrazymachine.com I know I know uh, shameless self-promotion here once you're into the site go here into the download section okay click on that scroll down 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 to system security click on that okay gonna get a lot of uh, free software here and there's a lot of uh, good antivirus programs out there uh, Kaspersky AVG uh, Windows Defender uh, don't really uh, like Norton a whole lot because first of all it's just insanely resource intensive and it's uh, really difficult to remove out of your system so uh, that's one of the programs while they're leading in their uh, pack it's just uh, just not the best program out there for this kind of thing so what I would do is uh, click on here and we're gonna go with the AVG antivirus and install it. it's completely free so click on that okay this is gonna ask you if you want to save the file this is the installer program so go ahead and save the file click on that okay so it's finished installing so what we're gonna do is I saved it here on my desktop have it right here click on that okay so it's just gonna ask you uh, some basic information go ahead and install it and I will come back okay we're back so here we are in uh, the AVG free interface uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, to hit the update button because uh, new viruses come out every day and you just want to make sure you're downloading the latest uh, antivirus uh, uh, snippets from AVG so go ahead and hit the update now button I just did mine so I don't think there's gonna be any updates well there is there you go and let that install okay the updates it's just saying uh, you just updated this so go ahead and update and on the left here it'll show you the, uh, the last scan date last update and database information and just make sure you have the free version here okay here we see the update was uh, finished successfully now what you want to do is close this okay we need to go into the start panel here go to run okay and click on MS config so MS config okay click on that this will uh, pop up your uh, Windows startup options so what you want to do first thing is to go to normal startup okay hit apply close and then what you want to do is restart your system this is a critical step and you have to follow this in order to get the maximum output from this program so go ahead and uh, restart click on that okay we're back after the restart now go ahead and click on your AVG free 8.5 open that browser up okay you've done the updates and here's the module for the computer scanner so click on that now this gives you two options you can either uh, scan folders or scan the entire system and 
what I recommend that you do is you scan your whole computer and this might take uh, quite a while uh, the last scan I did was about two or three hours it's only because I have a 250 megabyte uh, gigabyte drive sorry so go on click that and you can hit the start scan button uh, you could just leave these the way they are uh, but I would also scan your media files because uh, Trojans and uh, viruses can hide inside your uh, mp3 files your iTunes files uh, images so click on that and then start the scan and uh, go watch your favorite double feature and we will be back Are we back? Okay. Just had to get that out of the way. Okay, we're going to go back into the AVG virus uh, results. You can see here I have no infections during this scan. But uh, on a previous scan for a client, we found four infections. And you can see here that they were not removed or healed. So in that case, what you would do is click on this button to heal and uh, remove uh, the viruses or Trojans. And that's uh, pretty much it for uh, AVG antivirus. It's a fully functioning program. It does a great job of detecting and removing your viruses. And uh, it's just an overall great program. Now, one other program I would uh, really recommend is uh, Malware Bytes Anti-Malware. Malware is uh, a short uh, term for malicious software. It's a... Uh, software originally created and designed to harm and infect your computer so aside from the AVG go ahead and download this program it's relatively small and does a great job of removing uh, malware and detecting it on your system so go ahead and click download again you'll see the setup uh, wizard here go ahead and save the file after you've saved the file you want to go, uh, I saved it here on my desktop. Uh, this is the program file to install it. Now, what you want to do is rename this file because a lot of uh, the more advanced uh, viruses recognize this program and have uh, devised a way to work around it. So you need to, number one, right click, rename. I'm going to name it uh, just MB, MB setup. Okay, so it's there right now. So just click on that and go ahead and install uh, the program through the wizard menu. I've already got it installed, so I'm going to run it. Just double click here. Okay, perform a quick scan, perform a full scan. I recommend that you do the full scan. So go ahead and uh, scan your system. And it's going to ask you which drives you want to uh, scan. So click on, uh, if you've got additional hard drives, click on those and just uh, start scan. And let it do its thing, and we will see you in a little bit.